What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So today we're going to be breaking down how Milos Tadosic fits with the Los Angeles Clippers. There have been reports that Tadosic has signed a two-year $12.3 million deal with the Los Angeles Clippers and... This will be his first season in the NBA at age 30, so he will be a little bit old for a rookie. But let's just see how he will fit in LA. On offense, he will be a great fit. He is a great passer and playmaker, and I'm sure he's going to get a ton of assists on lobs to Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan on alley-oops and dunks. Not to mention, he'll also find guys like Danilo Gallinari and Patrick Beverly for open three-pointers as he has great vision and can break down defenses very well. He's also a great passer in transition as he will be sure to find the open guy or take the easy lay in himself. And he can also spread the floor on offense as well as last season he shot 38.1% from three point range with Moscow and the season before that he shot I want to say 42 or 43% from three as well so he's a great three point shooter as I was looking at his stats at first in his first season he shot I want to say around 28% from three point range and you know, after years of improvement, he got it all the way up to around 40%. So good for him, and he's definitely going to be very useful on offense for the Clippers. Defense will be a problem for Milos and the Clippers, as he is not a good defender at all. He was not known to be a great defender even in Moscow, and with the competition being much tougher in the NBA with players being much more gifted on offense, as they are in general better shooters and much more athletic so it's gonna be much harder for Milos who's already at 30 years old he's lost some of his athletic ability already so it's gonna to be tough for him to stay in front of guys in the NBA however the Clippers do have Patrick Beverly and Tony Allen they got Beverly from the trade for Chris Paul and they signed Tony Allen or they will be doing a sign and trade for Tony Allen so both of those guys could definitely hide some of Milos's defensive flaws as say one of either Beverly or Tony Allen will be on the floor with Milos. Um, Beverly or Allen could go on the tougher perimeter player to guard, while Milos can go on the weaker offensive player. So it would at least kind of hide Milos's poor defense a little bit as he will be only guarding the weaker offensive player. But overall, having Milos with either Beverly or Tony Allen would be a great fit as you have a good mix of offense and defense. I also want to point out that Milos has a great opportunity with the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm pretty sure he will be coming off the bench, but I'm sure he will get, you know, around 20 to 25 minutes per game. And I definitely think that's enough for him to show off his great offense and passing. And I'm sure that if he does play well enough, I think he can definitely be in the all-rookie, at least second team. If, say, he averages around 10 points and 6 assists per game. And also, I definitely think the Clippers have a chance to make the playoffs, even with losing Chris Paul, as they still have Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. They upgraded their small forward position with Danilo Gallinari, and they also have, you know, great defenders like Tony Allen and Patrick Beverly with Milos Tadosic as a key playmaker off the bench. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this quick little breakdown of how Milos Tadosic will fit with the Los Angeles Clippers, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I will be putting out some great NBA content throughout the rest of this offseason. And I'm definitely putting out some great NBA content throughout the regular season once it comes up. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. And also subscribe to my second channel which has more Brooklyn Nets stuff there. So if you're a Nets fan, I know a lot of you guys aren't and I don't blame you. Be sure to check the description below and subscribe to that channel. So once again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys all have a great one. Peace.